Hey, it's Mike here with some more Test Complete tips and tricks. Now, everyone knows Test Complete has the ability to record and replay to keyword tests. Maybe you already knew that you could also record and replay to scripts. We talk about these all the time, where you can hit record, uh, choose it on your toolbar, you see on the top right of my screen, and you can record to key your functional workflows, keyword tests, or in script format in JavaScript, Python, and VBScript. But there's also features like code completion, code templates, uh, and a ton of built-in helper methods to help you with common functionality. Some of these would look like uh, working with local environmental variables. So maybe things like a human environment uh, or WS shell, which can help you to grab things like hidden secrets, hidden environmental variables, or run external shell commands directly from the test ID. You can use common methods to work with files in AQ file or uh, getting things like file attributes or changing file attributes in AQ file system. We can use AQ date time to work with date and time methods, things like getting the current time, maybe comparing two different times, or adjusting the system time if you want to work with different time zones. We can use string methods, things like getting strings, manipulating strings, using find string find functions, using AQ string. And we could even go as far as using HTTP, HTTP or API call in uh, AQ HTTP without using any external tool. And of course, we can interface with tools like Jira. So let's take a look at the idea of some of the things that we can do. So I did mention that we can record uh, to keyword test or script, and you can toggle that in the app on the top toolbar by clicking on record keyword test or record script. You can also work with existing keyword tests you may have by just right-clicking them and converting it to script. And I'll just drop this one into a file here where it will generate, I like comments, It'll generate, in this case, the Python file uh, with all those built-in methods for me. A lot of time and work saved. But what else can we do? I mentioned some of the other helper methods here. So some example functions here, where I maybe I work with some files. So I define a file. I can use AQ file system to check the attributes of this file. I can even use another AQ file system method to change the attributes of the file. You can see that here on line 13. You can change it from read, read only. Uh, or not. We can use file functions like reading whole text files, getting the content of a file, or we can maybe copy, move, rename files directly from uh, using those helper methods without having to re redo that ourselves. I mentioned AQ date time. We can use that to get the time, maybe add time to a function, uh, check the interval of time between two points, uh, or various other functions like changing system date time. Again, back to file functions. We can read and write text files. We can create files even using the AQ file object method. Okay. We can even use a built in API method. Now, I've got a bit of an example here. I'll just minimize this one or collapse this one. But we can see we can build a HTTP request by using AQ HTTP and just create a GET request and give a certain URL uh, to hit that with. We can also parse out the response to get things like headers or get a specific header or status code from it to validate. Let's look at an example of where we import and work with uh, various methods, maybe from another unit. We can import from another unit. So I've got one here called call me maybe. This exists in my project here. And if I want to see what's inside that method, I can just control click and it will jump directly to that file and to that method. And I can see what's where that is, uh, what that contains. Okay. So really useful there straight away. If I want to add units for, from other files also, or unit references, it is quite easy. We can just hit import uh, or type in import and do it ourselves. Or maybe I can go right click, add unit references, and then I can add the reference to some other files, which then exposes all of those um, methods to me in a single file. Other things we can do directly in the IDE are things like code completion. So maybe if I want to write a new function uh, and I maybe go blank and I don't know how to do it. I can just right click, I can use code templates and I can go as far as create a function shell. So maybe uh, a new function and instead of the pass here, maybe do code completion again and I can say, I don't know what to do. So I wanna maybe do uh, some kind of a loop. I'll right click again, I can do code template and I can maybe choose to do some exception handling. So let's try, try except finally, and it will directly drop the template of the um, structure directly into the uh, function form. 
we can also have code completion. So again, I'll drop another function in here. So a new function again. And all I need to do is control and space. And I can bring up the different types of helper methods or built-in methods that are there. So things like if I want to bring in a unit from another file, or if I want to bring a daytime method or a file system method, I could check those out uh, with the various helper objects there. So things like change attributes, and we can see there's a description there of that built-in method. Now, finally, I mentioned the Code Explorer. If you don't have this in your project, go to View, select Panel, and just double click on Code Explorer. And this will give you some really helpful metrics on your the code quality in your project. So things like where you have maybe too few comments in the file recorded to test complete, uh, maybe too many comments, if there ever can be such a thing. Think about things like magic numbers and hard coded strings. These can be pointed out to you directly uh, from the Code Explorer. So take a look, maybe this is useful for you, maybe that gets you hitting the ground running and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching everyone.